Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we had a question based on our last video. In the last video, we were able to take a user form text box and using the up and down arrows, we could increment or decrease the date. And so we're, we were asked if we could do the same thing in a cell in a worksheet. So let's go ahead and experiment with a couple different theories about doing that. So let's hit Alt F11 and let's see here. In our Visual Basic Editor using Alt F11, we can go ahead and create a new module and uh, I want what well, we're gonna try the first thing is a worksheet event so actually on sheet one double click on that container for sheet one and go to worksheet and we want to use a selection change event which is the default and the reason we're going to do that is this event triggers every time the selection changes so if I click here or if I hit the down arrow if I hit the tab or if I hit enter the selection changes from here to another place and thus this triggers this selection change event so if I hit the down arrow uh, that would technically it's not the same as hitting the down arrow but um, it is one way to select this cell so we could use that let's see what else that we have here so we don't have that key down event necessarily so let's try this using the selection change let's let's make sure that whenever the cell selected is cell C4 which is indicate indicating that they press the down arrow key that we run a particular macro so let's say uh, if and remember the target right here this let me hit backspace a couple times. So this parameter called the target, that is actually revealing the, the value and the cell, the range of the cell that uh, is where you're landing, the, the selection that you're changing to. So let's take a look at that. And uh, the target is gonna be C4 whenever I hit the down arrow, whenever we trigger this. So let's, um, let's go ahead and capture that. If the target dot address equals and we'll say uh, C4 then and we'll just say stop because we want to just stop so if I select this select this but if I select this let's see let's let's go ahead and just do this so the dot address, okay, so that's the absolute address with the dollar signs. So what if I just wanted to do zero comma zero for a relative address, that would be equal to C5 without the dollar signs. So let's go ahead and run it this way. So if I click here now, the target dot address using zero comma zero is actually equal to C4 and thus we get to go to the stop point so if that's the case then we could take whatever cell C4 is uh, we could take the target target equals target plus one so that would take the date and actually we want to subtract by one whenever we're hitting the down arrow key so the target actually doesn't have a value uh, right now so it would make it negative one. And uh, actually, no, we don't want to do that to target anyway. We want to make that range. We always want to affect the range of C3. C3 is going to be equal to itself minus one. Let's try that again. Now again, we don't have a date in there. We should. So let's put uh, March 20 of 2018 in that cell I'm gonna erase this and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's end this macro so we can trigger it again so if we click here and hit the down arrow target dot address was C4 oh it's working it's just I didn't have a breakpoint so you notice every time I'm hitting the down arrow it is changing that cell value minus one. So if I do it again, minus one, minus one, minus one, it's taking this date and making it equal to whatever it is currently, minus one. So that is actually working quite well. I just didn't realize that I took away this the break point or the word stop. So that's one way to do it. Um, ideally, they want to keep the selection on C3. So what I'd want to do is say range C3 dot select or dot activate. 
And that way, whenever I hit the down arrow, it goes back to C3, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. And it just reselects the cell that I knew that I wanted to be on. And that occurs every time this cell right here is selected. So even if I clicked on this cell, it would run the macro and reselect this one. Now all we'd have to do is the same deal to uh, if it was also if it was C2, meaning I hit the up arrow and selected cell C2. So let's just do an else if, else if target dot address uh, uh, zero comma zero equals, oops, I didn't mean to hit enter. If this equals C2, then, and then of course that would be up arrow. So then we would just kind of, let's take this code that we already have established works pretty well. We're going to take C3 and equals itself plus one, not minus one, because we hit the up arrow just now. And then of course we do want to select range C3 again. So that's pretty much all you need to do. So if I click here and I hit the up arrow, up arrow, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up. So that would be a macro uh, based upon whether this the up arrow uh, goes to cell C2 or if cell C4 was selected. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section. Don't forget to click like or if you like this video or if it helped you or even hit the down or if it didn't really help you and you don't like it or if you don't like my voice or uh, don't forget to subscribe and to Excel VBA is fun YouTube channel and check out Excel VBA is for more resources. And again, thanks for watching and God bless.